they've been, Mike, they've been, they'll explore this angle of the difficulties that, it, that the party faces and the questions they have to answer now. Well, indeed, indeed, Keith, the kind of uh, uh, Mandela Day present the ANC wouldn't have wished uh, for. Uh, some party members, as Kathy has said, uh, do remain uh, in leadership positions. In fact, Michael Marilia within the ANC and very little, if anything, has been done to them. Yeah, that's right. And uh, if we go back almost two decades, uh, this is probably one of the most high-profile cases. Of all. This is uh, Tony Yangeni. ANC chief whip between 1998 and 2001. He seemed destined for great things within the uh, top structures of the ANC, headed on a smooth ride uh, to uh, the very summit of the organization. And speaking of smooth rides, we are, this is a Mercedes-Benz ML320 4x4. And uh, Tony Yangeni was uh, implicated in the arms deal back in 1999. The reason, he got a discount of 47% on a vehicle very similar to this one, Vio, and he was ultimately convicted of fraud. He was sentenced in 2003, Vio. He ended up serving uh, roughly five months of a four-year sentence. He was eventually released on parole. Fast forward to 2018, Vuyo, and he remains a member of the ANC's National Executive Committee. What's more, he is the head of the Working Group on Crime and Corruption. So some critics might say, very ironic uh, that the ANC has a, a person in leadership who himself has been convicted of a crime. But there are more recent examples of uh, you know, cases where the ANC didn't act when it should have, at least uh, as far as many South Africans are concerned. Absolutely. South Africans will be very familiar with this face. This, of course, is Mdudusi Manana, the former Deputy Minister of Higher Education, also an ANC lawmaker. Well, this headline really, this story really made headlines uh, last year. He was, of course, convicted of assault. That incident linked to an altercation at a nightclub in Johannesburg late last year. He remains, however, a member of parliament. He's no longer a minister, uh, but he is a member of parliament and he remains a member of the ANC's National Executive Committee. Important also to note here, Vuyo, that parliament has referred the Manana matter to the Ethics Committee. The Ethics Committee is investigating, but it can only make suggestions, Vuyo. It can suggest that perhaps he face a fine or he be reprimanded. It cannot tell the ANC to remove him from the National Assembly. Only the party itself can say, Mdudusi Manana, it's time for you to go. Of course, the ANC's uh, Bulema last night trying to make a distinction um, between the party's employees and uh, elected public representatives. That's right. He's uh, saying that uh, if you're an employee, then you're subject to labor law, and it can say, well, you've, you've transgressed the rules here, and it is time for you to go. But it's a different set of rules for the likes of uh, Manana, for instance, and members of the National Executive Committee because they were chosen by the party to be in those positions. So they can't just summarily be told, leave the door.